aerosols in dentistry. It's not a new problem. COVID-19 just brought it to light. This is why dental professionals rank number one in contracting airborne illnesses and report it as the number one reason for missing work. This is due to the fact that we see several patients a day, some with active diseases and infections. Our work area is in close proximity with patients and colleagues. We have very little control over these factors, so we must adopt protocols and systems to mitigate the risk of what we can control. What are dental aerosols? Aerosols are particles less than 50 microns in diameter. When the diameter is greater than 50 microns, the particle is heavy enough to be influenced by gravity and act as a projectile. Under 50 microns, the particle can float in the air for hours depending on the size. How small is 50 microns? A typical human hair is around 100 microns, fine beach sand is 90 microns, and a grain of salt is 60 microns. The naked eye visibility threshold is somewhere between 40 to 50 microns. Anything under this threshold will become invisible to the naked eye. Red blood cells are 8 microns. 99% of all dental aerosols generated in a typical dental procedure are 2.5 microns in diameter. These aerosol nuclei can stay in the air for up to two hours. This is one of the most important facts to understand because it means that most of the aerosols you will see and have seen in these videos account for only 1% of the total amount of aerosols being produced in a procedure. With special lighting, we are able to see aerosols being generated. These particles are between 40 and 50 microns and can hover in the air for a couple of minutes. Again, the aerosols visualized in this video account for only 1% of the aerosols being generated in a given procedure. The rest are so small that they cannot be visually detected and remain invisible to the naked eye and the camera. The greatest amount of aerosol concentrations are generated 1 to 3 feet from the source, which in the case of a dental professional is right in the work zone. During inhalation, the radius of the alveolus doubles from about 50 microns to 100. This means that the most common sized aerosols produced during procedures are small enough to bypass key biological defenses and enter the bloodstream directly. Particles this size have the maximum possibility of depositing deep within the respiratory system into the alveoli. These particles can also cover great distances of up to 20 feet. 